My kids are in college now. So it did a wonderful job on them. It's like no program like CDC. Through the CDC of Sampa's Youth Leadership Movement, we've been able to assist over 450 youth enter college as well as obtain employment over the years. Our goal is to keep them off the streets, make sure they have some skills they need to be successful in life. I think that we, we really provide an effective service in, in the community. CDC has uh, helped me tremendously, keeping them focused, giving them a little bit of direction, and the mentoring here has given them a lot of accountability. It's truly, you know, helped support us as a family. CDC has helped me a lot. Youth in our program, they go through a youth leadership training program throughout the school year. They learn leadership skills, they participate in college activities, they take college tours. They also participate in our tutoring activities, so they get the assistance that they need in school. First year in high school, I wasn't in the program, and my grades were dropping. I was on the verge of not being able to graduate. And when I joined the program, they got me more focused and showed that if you do work and you do like get your grades up, then you are rewarded. Because we used to go on college tours and do different trips, and that just motivated me and showed me that you do get something positive out of doing good stuff. I um, turned around and been able from almost not to graduate to being accepted by multiple colleges. Eventually, I came in through the program. I stuck with it throughout high school. And now I'm a student at USF uh, going into my junior year and I'm a youth mentor here. The Project Cultural Arts Program has been designed to deter young adults and children from making the wrong decisions and we teach them life skills through the arts. Mr. LeFay and Mr. David, those are the two that I'm mostly around and I talk to them, I can talk to them about anything. They come to me and let me know what I'm doing right, what I need to change and they keep you motivated. They don't just give up on you. They'll, they'll, even if you give up on yourself, they'll still push for you to do what you have to do. It's a safe place. So them coming up here and having a voice to listen to them helps them. They know someone cares about them. It's just more than just caring about the kid. It's more than keeping them busy and staying out of trouble. So that's why I love CDC. <laughs> Parents have a lot to do, working, trying to provide. Knowing that they're coming up here and we're directing them, giving them the tools, actually help the parents focus more on getting the bills paid. Each student we touch, that's change. It's change in effect and spreading. So hopefully as we touch more students, we'll touch more parents, more families, and that will better our community around us. I think most importantly, when kids that enter the program do graduate. They go into college or they go into a trade school, but overall, they're becoming successful in life and we stick with them. Even after, they, even after they graduate or leave the CDC of Tampa, they still come back and we have conversations with them. We give them advice um, as they're going through college or as they complete college and they're coming back to the community and they volunteer, they mentor, they bring resources back to the community. So I think the, the important part of the CDC of Tampa is we, we're building leaders, we're creating leaders.